And yeah, this time we're gonna go with Leonardo. Let's see how well we do this time. Well, we've done this already. Let's go. There's a question I actually have here. If the Technodrome is in Dimension X in this um, game, where did that transport module come from? That's actually a very important question. Yeah, there we go. I wasn't sure I was going to get it. Be able to flip it for whatever reason. Mm. I know this one's coming. Yeah, it's not until I attack them that they come, the others come. Well, it's no matter. I'll just take them out anyway. Take you out like that. <laughs> uh. So hit so Leo's special attack. One issue with I've, I've, I'm noticing one thing about Leo's special attack already. It doesn't last as long as Donatello's. That's one disadvantage. Not gonna get taken out by them. I just noticed I chose to play Leonardo in this for this stream and I ended up putting on the blue gear for this stream as well. I assure you that wasn't actually the intention. That's what I'm saying. That, that's what I'm hoping to find out, uh, Shane. Uh, look, I intend to um, play through this game with every character. And I want to find out, find out the strengths and weaknesses. Like I said, one thing I've already noticed is 
Leo's special attack here, it doesn't last as long as Don's. So that's one disadvantage. You see, like, that would have... Don's special attack probably would have gotten at least two major hits on Bebop at that range. But, we're still able to uh, take him out relatively easily. There we go. Yeah, well, this works. Leonardo does seem quicker than than Don, at least. That that's that's one advantage. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look. Like I said, one thing about this game. Yeah, that. The graphics and animation did a good... Did, it, it's just an unbelievable job uh, um, not paying tribute not just to the original cartoon itself, but the old arcade games that were based off of said first cartoon. Yeah, now if there's one um, thing I'm disappointed at with the arcade version, it's this, that they replaced it with these sushi packs for extra points instead of the rescued characters. Where I think that you could just as easily um, have, uh, have, ha have had, in the, in the arcade version, rescue the characters and get those extra points instead. That's one thing that they probably could have done for the arcade version better. See, I only get one at a time here, so I'm almost certain that move would have uh, taken out two of them if it would dawn.
Got two of them that time. At least they're bikes. I'll take out the soldiers the rest of the old-fashioned way. Ah! Got him that time. Okay. Got him! Managed to reject the man co hole cover that time. Maybe that's where the extra speed comes in. Got the extra life already. Um, it's available for just about any, um, I think just about all of the uh, current consoles have this game out. I got the Steam version on PC for whatever that's worth. Yeah, yeah. The other thing, the, the weapon range isn't as long, isn't as far as Donatello's. And like I said, the special, the uh, special attacks, it doesn't seem to, not only does it does it not reach quite as long, but it things like the, the 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 time period that it lasts isn't as long either. But That, but, but uh, to be honest, that's actually probably the easiest I've taken out Rocksteady in quite a while, so maybe the additional speed of Leo is a bit of an advantage in that situation. you think about it um it does make sense that leo and probably the other turtles would be faster than donatello because all remember donnie only has technically has one weapon the other three always have two in their immediate arsenal so in a way that that let's see that yeah now that's one advantage yeah leo's jump attack with the swords is a lot quicker than, than than at least Donnie's. Missed that. Oh, missed. Not get out of the way that time. And here we go. Y yeah, I mean, um, look, I have, I haven't bought a new console. First off, you gotta remember that I haven't bought a non-Nintendo console since the Atari 2600. And like I said, I just, I don't know, just the, it took me a while, but it just got to a point where 
we're getting uh uh constantly having to upgrade to a new paying an extra 250 bucks for a new console all the time the hassle of trying to trying to get uh, save up the space for them in addition to the computer that I have to use anyway is the fact that I can use my PC now not just for uh 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 at least I can get that Whew. The fact that I can use a PC now, not just for work on my um, own projects and everything, but also as a game console de facto, and can watch television on it. It's just so much more of a convenience for me. Yeah, the special attack's not gonna do much damage against these guys. Here we go. Now I'm wondering if. Ugh. Ugh. It's not working as well, but... Apparently, I thought the jump slash would work better with Leo against this thing, but it's not seeming to be the case. I'm probably going to lose at least one life taking this thing out just and there, just as I say that. Got him. Okay, well, at least... You know, it might be out there. I mean, I found emulations of old DOS PC games. So... It's possible. Good. Whew. I mean, talking about the individual games, I don't remember the exact price of this one, but it wasn't bad. 
I think I got, like, the Kawabunga collection for 30 bucks, which is actually pretty darn good. In fact, I've seen a lot of, uh, compilation games. Ugh, this is gonna get me. Um, I said, I, I found a lot of collection games on Steam, and the only one, the only one that I found was pretty outrageously priced was the one that has the, I think, at least the first six Final Fantasy games. Because I found Castlevania, Mega Man... And even the old Disney Afternoon collection on this thing. I, I think the old, I think so far out of those, um, Castlevania is the only one I have yet to acquire. I mean, I, given that I've reviewed the first three already, the, the first three animated series, I mean, look, there's always going to be a special place in my heart for the first series from the 80s made by Fred Wolf Films. That being said, I can kind of appreciate what the second four kids series did especially as far as it's um being more authentic to the original comics the uh the third series that nickelodeon directly produced i i said this before in my um in my reviews of it i don't know there was just a number of things about it that didn't work for me. To be perfectly honest. Ugh. And also the main thing about it is, um, and I've actually, I've actually had, disagree, had to disagree with a lot of people on me on this. I really didn't like what the, uh, the third Nickelodeon series did as far as the crossovers it had with the original first animated series. I thought it... I, I actually thought that was the series that really did a disservice to... an insulting disservice to the first cartoon rather than what so many people said that Turtles Forever did with it. I actually thought Turtles Forever really paid nice tribute to the first cartoon series, while while the second cart, while the um the Nickelodeon series and its crossovers were kind of kind of took some unnecessary pot shots at the first cartoon. You probably can check those out, those reviews, on the website at any time. Be able to click on the link for the um on the Ninja Turtles retrospective. They should all still be there. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Ha ha! Ha 
some reason, this piece seems easier to take out Dirtbag first here. Got him. Now for you. Now for Ground Chuck. Ugh. Just when you, when you run back and forth on the bottom like that, that's not going to get you anywhere. Yeah. Woo! I will hopefully be, um, sooner, um... We uploading a uh, more uh, shortened version of the first my first playthrough of this that I did yesterday, um, one that doesn't have all of the um, problems we went through for the first half hour of it. It'll be much easier to watch. Hope we'll get that done in the next day or so. Uh. Again, I've got to double check that episode. The episode Leonardo versus Tempestus is. Was Crystal Arcade the arcade the Turtles went to at the start of that? Of that episode? Yeah, but these little, these buggers. Ah, uh, so you didn't get any of those. here. Yeah, there was a super pizza behind that. This time I took it out. Ah, uh, I probably do need to check out Wakanda Forever at some point. Maybe when it reaches Disney Plus. I mean, look, there is, um, I know there's going to be a time, probably going to be a time when I start more reviewing internet-based TV shows. And when that time comes, when that time comes, uh, the revi the, uh, Twin Peaks revival would definitely be on that list. Put it that way.
Oh no, I just realized something. I said if, if if Leo's special attack can't take out a big Mauser in one strike, I'm gonna have a lot of problems with those th those mutant Mauser, whatever things they are. They're gonna start saying once we get to the once we get to the warehouse level. I'm not looking forward to those now. But here we go. Oh, I missed out oh, guy missed him. I think I'm gonna have a lot of problems with this guy also because because of the lack of range on the special attack. Ugh. At least I dodged that attack. Ugh. Ah, like this fudge. At least I got him that time. <laughs> uh, always. Okay, here we go. I know what's coming. Ugh! Ugh! How did I miss him? Ah! Oh, right in front of me. Got him that time at least. Whew! MPP streaming website. I gotta check. Maybe, I may need to check that website out. Who knows what else is on there?
Ah. Not having as much Architectus, I'm not having as much success already with Leo. I'm already down to three lives. You need to try some more. Got it, yeah. Okay, we gotta take these guys out quickly. It's the little details like they use, they bring in, they have us, they show us old fashioned CRT based television sets and computer monitors like that, like they're showing in here. Then they keep it in line with. They keep it in tune with the time period that this that the first cartoon took place in. Another metal lug. Yeah, another knucklehead coming. <laughs> oh, I forgot there was another one. I mean, I can tell you some stories about them, like, here's what I found out so far, like, I, I'm kind of giving, I might be giving this some away, giving something away, uh, in, in, in preparation for some of my next upcoming Charlie Brown reviews, but, um, I don't know if you were aware that there were, there were actually two Charlie Brown specials where Snoopy, we could act, Snoopy actually did have a voice, we got to actually hear Snoopy's voice vo vocal thoughts more or less I, I don't know if you knew this but um the per the the uh, voice actor for snoopy in those two specials which were a boy named charlie brown and snoopy the musical the voice actor for snoopy in those two um th those two specials was cam clark the voice of donatello Also, I mean, also you may have known, I don't know if you knew that I um, reviewed the uh, uh, three animated specials that were 
adapted from the Kathy comic strips. Yeah, there were, there were three animated specials based on the Kathy comic strips, and um, in those, Rob Paulson, the voice of Raphael, he voiced Kathy's boyfriend, Irving. You probably would recognize that voice if you saw those specials. You might not have, um, you might not recognize the voice in this case, but also, if you, I don't know if you've seen the Teen Wolf animated series that was based off of the original movie that came out in 1987, I believe. The main character, Scott Howard slash Teen Wolf, in that animated series was voiced by Townsend Coleman, the voice of Michelangelo in the first TMNT. This could be difficult just because... Uh. Got it. Also, you may not know that, um, of course, that Pat Frally, the voice of Krang, was also the voice of Denver the Last Dinosaur. Oh, this could be tough. I feel like I got that just in time. The only other thing I know, well, the only thing I know about, um, of course, about Barry Gordon, the voice, the original voice of Donatello, the only thing I know of for sure that he also did was, of course, voicing one of the SWAT cats. I don't remember the character's name, but it was the, the shorter, more technologically advanced one. I forget the names of those two characters. It's been a, been a while since I've seen that episode. I've seen that cartoon. She did it again. That one always drops off the, uh, drops right, drop, uh, right off that pit.
Ah, at least I got it. Gotcha. Okay, that's the way to do it. Okay. Yeah, I love that they still do that. That they will run into each other like they did when you had to face them together in the first arcade game. Ah! You get this. Ah! Don't think I've gotten that one last hit before he did, damn it. Well, I can tell you this. I mean, like, the only... The only real impressive thing about the infamous Red Sky years was the fact that Lord Dreg was voiced by Tony J. Give you that much. Oh, that was stupid. Why'd you go right into it? You can't move while performing a special attack either. Some of the turtles, you, some of the characters you can. That much I know. This pizza should be coming here. Yep. Oh, missed it. Damn it. That's bad.
Hmm. I mean, I found a way to dodge all of these. Be another one coming. Try to catch it this time, boy. Got it. Good. Okay. Could have been a lot worse than it was. Ah. Uh. Got it? Okay. Okay, let's do this. Okay, here we go, wing nut. Didn't do that attack last time. Uh, it's not as good. Got him. You know, I've always preferred, I'll tell you, as far as the movies go, I always actually did prefer the second movie. Just because it, it seemed to have more of a feel similar to the first cartoon series. But that was just my preference. Especially the fact that I really think thought that uh, it would believe that um, the actress who got they got for the, the the second and third movies Paige Turco bear more of a resemblance to the uh, cartoon series April than uh, than Judith Hogue did. No no disrespect meant to uh, Judith Hogue whatsoever. I'm going to get another life at about 22 points. Gah! Took those guys out 
fairly easy. Like the, the fling slam does the fact that the fling slam doesn't immediately beat them, that's frustrating. Ah. Yeah. I've always said this. I've actually been to New York a few times in my life, but in, including this past summer, and yet I've never, I've never actually been to Coney Island. I, I, I really need to try to put aside some time to do that one of these days. Ah, there we go. Oh god, not these guys. The frickin' Psy soldiers. These are pains in the butt. Woo! Ah! Okay, what? Well, we're going page Turco. Was the kid in Sidekicks the TV show? Was the kid? Um, Ernie. Uh, no, no. Well, yeah, Ernie Reyes Jr. was definitely not short round. That much I know. Was he in Sidekicks? I don't remember seeing that movie, so I couldn't say for absolute certain. But I apparently, I think like Ernie Reyes was a stunt man in for somebody. In the first TMNT movie, that much I recall. Whew. Just right when I need it. Uh, uh, now he comes. Ah, uh, missed every time. Okay, at least got him that time. Whew! game. No, I got two of them. Ok, 
God. Okay. <laughs> Let's try that, see if this works. Let me jump out of the way. Ah, oh, shit. Pizza and it still took me out. Fudge. I can still, okay. Yeah. Ah, come on, you're so close. Got him. Goes here. I'm only on my last life, so I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be going here. No, no, not buying it, not buying it. I don't think I'm going to last through this level, to be perfectly honest with you guys. Not with what I know about those super mousers that always give me, always give me problems.
Star Wars and or I have not actually been following. I've more, I, I've have more been focused, I've got to tell you this, I have been more focused on the new Quantum Leap series. In fact, I, I think I'm going to have a, 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 a friend's going to be on Rowdy Live tomorrow, we're going to make our second discussion of it. Kind of, I'm, to be honest, I'm kind of worried that they put that, they more or less put that show on hiatus now after eight episodes, especially, oh shit, here we go. Uh, with the, yeah, the, the, the highest they put it on and the, the dropping of ratings it's had as the show has progressed. That, um, to be perfectly honest, the best case scenario right now I'm hoping for is that they're just go they're going to continue the series exclusively on Peacock. Because I, I sadly will be, um, will be, uh, I, I, I kind of have my doubts as to whether or not the series is going to continue on NBC. Whether or not Scott Bakula is actually going to be uh, make an appearance, that's a wait and see for me. Uh. These guys can fudge. And another one. I think I've got to keep in the air as much as possible. Okay. Ah. Oh, d don't get me started. Like I, said, I don't know if you watched it, but years ago, I did my a list of worst TV finales. Quantum Leap made number two on that, was second place on that list of worst TV finales. Um, and, and now these guys. Ah, oh, there we go. And that's it. I think that's actually going to do it for us.